Welcome to third in the series of videos on electromagnetic induction. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the applications of Faraday's law um, and how to use Fleming's right hand rule and the idea of motional EMF. So let's assume that you have uh, you have a setup where a, a conductor like this, um, in the shape of um, you know um, a, a rectangle without with one side open, and you subject it to a magnetic field by keeping magnets in the top and the bottom of this uh, of this whole setup. So the magnetic field is like this. Um, so you have uh, you have basically magnets uh, in the top and in the front and in the front um, and that can give you uh, the magnetic field like this so if I may draw if I may try to draw the setup uh, in a three-dimensional way so you have the north and the south and the magnetic field lines are um, are sorry you have south and north here south and north so the magnetic field lines are coming coming out like that from here to here and in the middle you have this you have this coil um, so that's how uh, we have set this up now imagine that you have uh, you have a conductor by the way you know this uh, this yellow frame is also a conductor so this and this are conductors and this is your magnetic field uh, which is coming outward and let's assume that your this conductor is moving towards the left um, with a velocity v so as you move this conductor towards the left with the velocity v um, you can see that after some time you know this whole we can imagine that this this whole coil which is uh, which is a b c d so initially when this is here at position one, the, the, the flux is given by the magnetic field strength B into um, the area of the area A, B, C, D. So, so that's your phi one. And as B moves to B dash, um, C dash, we have, um, we have phi two is given by B into the area which is a b dash c dash d so that's a flux so it's quite evident that there is a changing flux so we have a changing flux delta phi uh, you know it's moving with the velocity v so that means there is a within a time period specific time period there is a changing flux and this is going to produce an emf and what we see is that the flux lines are reducing in this direction so uh, flux lines are in this direction, but it is it's kind of reducing so So the current will be produced in this conductor B dash C dash such that you know we we we, we oppose that decrease in the flux lines which is coming out So um, so what happens is a current is going to be produced um, in such a way that you know you know the net effect should be to increase the increase the magnetic flux which is coming out um, so what what happens is a current gets generated like this in the whole system and the current is going to move like that so this is your i um, reason why it happens is because then you have you have some additional magnetic field in this direction so you want to oppose that decrease in the magnetic flux because of reducing area um, and that it does by producing a current uh, in the counterclockwise direction. So this is the first scenario. Um, let's look at the second scenario. You have the same magnetic setup. You have the same setup. But then in this case, you're moving this conductor. Um, so this is your initial position, A, B, C, D, to B dash, C dash. Um, so you're moving, moving in this direction. So you're moving in this direction, and these are your, of course, these are your um, initial magnetic field. So these are your initial magnetic field. So that remains the same, just the direction of velocity is changing, right? 
so let me draw this okay so now I would like you to pause the video here and think in which direction the current would be generated um, and and you know how the flux would be changing and how the current would be generated so you can see that the flux lines are increasing in this direction outward as this rod moves from here to here so since the flux lines are increasing we need to do something so that so that that increase is countered by producing flux in the opposite direction and to do that um, we need to produce current uh, but in this time the current will be produced in the counterclockwise direction so that so that the flux is going in um, so this is the direction of your current in this conductor um, as a velocity is in this direction um, so that it you know it opposes the increase in the flux and that is signified by this minus sign right so if we can summarize what what we have here we have in the first case you have the b here b like this and your v is in this direction if this this is your v the velocity and b is in this direction we have current being produced like this we have current being produced in the conductor like this and in the second case uh, if your b is um, b is like that and your velocity is towards the right and cu and current is down um, then you know sorry if velocity is towards the right then the current is produced down so this can be um, interpreted mathematically in two ways so the first way is my favorite we say that i is in direction um, v cross b so what you do is you um, you 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 close your finger you point your finger in the direction of v um, and you fold it you 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 fold your fingers you fold your fingers um, towards the direction of b because the b is coming out you fold it towards b and then the i direction is given by your thumb um, so here also you know your your v direction is uh, uh, you, your 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 v direction is like this your your hands are like that and your thumb is pointing towards here of your right hand of course and as you as you as you fold your fingers um, then from from v to you know we are doing initially in the direction of v and then you're folding it towards b so your thumb gives a direction of i so that is that is an easy way of thinking about it the alternate way of thinking about it is by using um, you know what we call as a Fleming's uh, right hand rule so you can you can point your finger your forefinger uh, in the direction of the magnetic field so in this case it's going to come outside and then and then align your thumb uh, to the direction of the V um, and and your center finger would give you the direction of the current so you need to you need to try it out yourself using your right hand um, and and you will get I which is um, which is the induced current um, you know this finger would point up in one case and this finger would point down in the other case uh, if you align this and this in the proper direction of uh, v and b um, so that is other way of other way of thinking about it um, this is fleming's uh, right hand rule um, and the whole scenario that we have studied here wherein as a conductor moves um, and and emf is produced um, this whole idea is also called motional emf um, so so that's the whole idea of uh, producing current without batteries so i hope you enjoyed this video um, see you in the next one